The double slit experiment is based on the wave particle duality of subatomic particles. As simple a concept as it is, it produces some of the most astonishing experimental results of quantum mechanics. This experiment stands at the heart of quantum weirdness because it is one of the strangest things in science. Shooting classical particles, that is, small balls of matter, at a screen with a single slit in it, produces a simple spray of particles on the second screen behind it. When a wave passes through a single slit, it produces a similar pattern. That is, a bright spot in the center that dims as one moves away from the center. When you add a second slit to the first screen, classical particles would tend to form two sprays of particles on the second screen. When you add a second slit to the first screen, a wave forms a series of several light and dark stripes, as shown below. Shooting quantum particles, that is subatomic particles, at a screen with a single slit in it, produces a simple spray of particles on the second screen behind it. So far, so good. This result is actually consistent with both wave and particles. Now this is where it starts getting strange. Shooting quantum particles at a screen with two slits in it, one would expect them to form two sprays of particles on the second screen. However, when one actually shoots quantum particles at a screen with two slits in it, like a wave, quantum particles form a series of several light and dark strips. This shows the wave nature of quantum particles. As strange as this is, the quantum world gets even stranger. One possibility that was considered is that the quantum particles are somehow interacting with each other to form the series of several light and dark strips. The solution was to shoot the particles one at a time so that they cannot interact. Here are the results of a double slit experiment showing the buildup of an interference pattern of 100 single electrons. Here is the result of a double slit experiment showing the buildup of an interference pattern of 3,000 single electrons. Here are the results of a double slit experiment showing the buildup of an interference pattern of 20,000 individual electrons. Here are the results of a double slit experiment showing the buildup of an interference pattern of 700,000 individual electrons. Note that the electrons still form an interference pattern even when shot one at a time. This shows that the wave nature of subatomic particles is inherent in each particle. These results actually seem to require each electron to go through both slits at the same time. However, quantum mechanical strangeness still gets even stranger. The notion of one particle going through both slits at the same time is so anti-intuitive that physicists had to look to see which slit each particle is actually going through. So to look, experimenters put detectors by the slit so as to look to see which slit each particle actually went through. The results were that the subatomic particles formed a spray line behind each slit, just like classical particles would. This suggested the electrons somehow knew that they were being watched. And this is not the end of the strangeness, because it's about to get even stranger. Suspecting the detectors were causing the difference, the experimenters turned off the recorder while leaving the detectors on. However, this time they got the interference pattern. The fact was that the subatomic particle only produced the double line when the information about them was actually being recorded. So it is the conscious act of observing that affects the experiment and not the measuring devices themselves. What is really happening is that when a subatomic particle is not being observed, it behaves like a wave and can actually go through both slits at the same time. The properties of this wave are determined by the particle's wave function. On the other hand, when a subatomic particle is being observed, the wave function collapses and it behaves like a particle and can only go through one slit at a time. In general, the idea is that the wave function represents multiple possibilities. When an observer is added, the wave function collapses into one of those possibilities. Now, exactly what causes this depends largely on the particular interpretation of quantum mechanics in the use. Ultimately, each interpretation is a different view of reality itself. One thing this does show is that consciousness is a fundamental part of reality. This is not new age thought, but with the observation of subatomic particles is actually final. It is also consistent with the biblical view of God as creator, since the universe would be a result of his consciousness.